This is a truly interesting one right here, right? Uh, there's a reform group that is pro pot that really states that, you know, truck drivers that are getting the urine test are failing and are pushing the FMCSA to push it to more oral fluid testing because whatever you have in your body, it'll only stay in for a few days, right? And their thought process pretty much is just like people that drink alcohol. You know, if you're fine and if you're sober, you're good. If you're drinking, then you're bad. They say it should be the same thing with MJ. My truckers, let's get into today's video. Let me know what you guys think about this. This is a extremely interesting one right here. You know, uh, this group that is a pro pot group is stating that MJ testing took thousands of truckers off the road last year, endangering the supply chain. It says here, pro pot advocacy group NORML says that current federal MJ testing practices are forcing tens of thousands of truck drivers to leave the industry for good. Now, just earlier today, the National Organization for the Reform of MJ Laws, NORML, released a statement calling for a reform of the drug screening practices for truck drivers in order to stop the exodus of commercial trucking industry to the FMCSA. You know, they truly believe that 38,000 truck drivers could have still been driving the truck, but they failed their MJ test. Since 2020, more than 139,000 CDL holders have failed mandatory drug tests for MJ, according to the group. Now, they do state that overall positive drug tests reported to the FMCSA drug and alcohol clearinghouse were down from 68,000 to 639 in 2022 to 61,443 in 2023. But this is in part that so many truck drivers refused the test. The group suggests that the federal drug screens should be moved away from urine testing, which can detect the THC for weeks or months, in favor for the oral fluid testing, which can detect for one to two days. And so their thought process behind all of this really is just like when you drink beer on the weekends, right? At the moment, if you're drunk, you drive a truck, you're going to get in trouble. But if it's out of your system within the few days, is it really a problem? You know, that's the big question at hand. Mother Truckers, comment down below. What are your thoughts about this? Do you think that because of urine testing and truck drivers failing the test that uh, they need to move to oral fluid testing because then it will only show for a few days? Or do you think that truck drivers shouldn't be on anything ever at all? You know, uh, some people, they compare this to drinking a beer. But Mud Truckers, comment down below. What are your thoughts about this? Uh, truly interesting that this reform group is uh, pitching this to the FMCSA and truly believes that, you know, urine testing uh, is the reason why so many truck drivers are leaving the industry. You know, uh, it stays in their bodies for weeks to months. And if they're sober, you know, why are they still getting in trouble? You know, again, these are not my opinions. This is the group's opinions. My truckers, comment down below. What are your thoughts?